I really wanted to do a little bit of a weekend vlog, so that's what we're gonna do. It is actually Friday and I just got off work, or done with work, because I work from home now. Um, so that's like a new thing that I've been transitioning to. I'm currently remote working now. I started a new job a couple of weeks ago and it's going great and I'm really loving it. So that is fun. But there is so much that is going on this weekend, so much that I wanna do and get done. So I thought I would take y'all along. I've got some hauls for y'all, which I'm gonna show y'all right now. And then it's also gonna be a big budgeting weekend and everything kind of ties in together. So let's go ahead and get started with the Buff Bunny haul because I did shop their recent launch. They did a launch called the Boyfriend Collection and I absolutely loved it. I hadn't shopped Buff Bunny in over a year and I decided that there was just a couple things that I wanted to pick up and let myself have. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what I got from that launch. Some of it is going back. I'll show y'all also what didn't work. I also got my final package in today. So I need to try on those, but I have a feeling that they're not gonna work. I feel like the bras this launch were just not really geared towards um, big chested ladies. I've got a lot going on in that area and I like it to be secure with good coverage and I feel like not a lot of the bras or like any of the bras that they offered in this collection really did that. I hope that in the future launches they have some stuff that is like more full coverage and kind of geared toward people with a bigger chest size. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm already wearing one of the pieces. So with this boyfriend collection, they also did like a capsule within it. It's one of their biggest like launches that they've ever had like so many pieces so many great things i absolutely loved the color palette for this one which is why i decided to shop it but they had the threads collection and one of the things was the like oversized zip up hoodie and i don't have any zip up hoodies like i have a lot of sweatshirts hoodies but i don't really have anything that like zips up and i've been wanting some zip ups i think i have like one and it's a crop but it's like fitted and i wanted some stuff that was oversized so this is the zip hoodie and i absolutely love it it has a huge hood in the back super cute this is in the color chamomile the color palette for this launch was fairly neutral and kind of had some like pinky tones in it as well so i did get a second zip hoodie in the berry ice color i got both of them in a large because i wanted them to be like super oversized like if you can see like they go down a lot and it's just like so freaking comfortable um, they are pretty pricey. I do feel like you could probably find some kind of zip hoodie like this, you know, at like Target or something or like Old Navy that's like way cheaper. But I love Buff Bunny. I think that the colors that they released were super cute. So I'm really glad that I got this. Like this is probably my favorite thing of the launch by far. I just, it's so cozy and so comfy. I want it in every color, um, but we're not gonna do that because we're trying to like keep it toned down. The other things that I'm really excited about were I got the both of the colors that they released in the six inch short. I actually don't have the six inch short. They started doing six inch shorts whenever I was not buying anything from Buff Bunny. I was kind of like on a hiatus because I had plenty of workout clothes. But I really wanted to get some shorts that fit me a lot better because all of my stuff right now, like bottoms, are currently in small and I gained a, gained a little bit of weight. So I'm more of a medium now, so I really wanted just a couple things to size up. For the most part, my leggings fit fine, but, but when it comes to the shorts, because my thighs are so big and my butt is so big, like I, I, <laughs> it's just like too small for me to wear a small. So I decided to go ahead and size up and get some mediums in the six inch short and give these a try. I still haven't tried them on because I have been on my period and I just like didn't wanna try any pants on just in case they didn't work. So I'm waiting a couple of days until I can try these on. This is their legacy style and it's in the Newberry fabric, which I absolutely love the legacy leggings. Um, I also really love the legacy shorts, but like I said, I don't have any six inch. The only ones I have are four inches and those are so short. They roll up and I've heard people with like thick thighs, this is a better fit just because of the where it sits on your leg. So I'm really excited to try these out. Um, I got the color Mocha Berry, so it's kind of like a purpley brown. And then I also got the Chai Latte color, which is just like a little bit of a lighter brown. And I think that these are such beautiful colors. I'm really excited. I'm just, I'm a neutrals girly. Like I have a lot of bright colors already in my collection from them so i don't need any more but i've been really wanting to shop the more 
kind of like toned down launches. I think the last one I really wanted to shop was the Naked launch and that was just like during a time where I wasn't buying Buff Bunny so I just didn't. So I'm really glad to have just some more neutral colors from Buff Bunny. I think it's kind of what was lacking in my collection. So I did already try on one of the bras that I got um, and this is one that I am returning because it's just too small and I just don't think that the shape of it works for me but it is a really beautiful bra so if you are looking for a new bra like i love the bra itself it just doesn't work for my body type i think or like my chest like what i want out of a bra but it's so beautiful like if i was a little bit smaller chested um i would totally rock this even if i size up to the next size i just like i'm not really into like the sharp v's but it is really beautiful like it's just like it's a beautifully shaped bra and beautifully made bra i love the fabric but it just again again it just didn't work for me but i think that it this is going to work for a lot of people out there this is their shape seamless sports bra and it's it's in the color chamomile i got a medium but i think even if i sized up to a large i just wouldn't be about this like deep V. That's too much cleavage. I just got my other package. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one. This is the one that I was so on the fence about. Let me get some. I was so on the fence about ordering these, which is why they are in a separate order because I, I just didn't know. So I decided to go ahead and get them, which I'm glad I did because now they're out of stock. And if I wanted to try them, I wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to. Um, but these are the girlfriend sports bras. This one is in chai latte and chamomile. And then they also have one in onyx black and black mineral wash. These are reversible, but they are very booby. I kind of went into buying these with a different intention than like something like this. Cause this is kind of meant to be like a medium support bra like it's meant to hold things in i kind of went for these because i really want more of like a lounge bra so i'm kind of hoping that like this works for what i want it to but if not again i'll send it back um <clears throat> so like i said this is the girlfriend sports bra so this is the one in black and as you can see, it goes like way down. And I'm kind of hoping that this will work as a bralette for me. But we're going to kind of see. Um, I don't know if it'll cover the girls. <laughs> we're going to try it on. But this is really cute. Like I, I like this as just like, again, like a lounge bra. And then I also got the chai latte. And then you can reverse it to the chamomile color. So I'm going to try these on later. But oh my gosh, they are so soft. If these end up working, I my, my boobies will be in heaven for the foreseeable future. Because I just like, I don't know, I don't really have anything bra-wise that I am currently loving. But anyway, I also got the clips. I wanted to try out their clips. They're way overpriced. I could probably find something in the same style on like Amazon. But I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy them because the colors match. So I love these. These are the first clips that hold my hair. Like I have so much hair and I also have short hair right now and I have this one in. So I got it in the chai latte and the bone color and I love these. These hold my hair so well. Like I've never had a clip that could hold my hair and even hold it while it's short is like nothing short of a miracle. I forgot the last thing way over there, but I did get one of their new belt bags and i do currently have one of their like more like fanny pack looking ones and i i like this like i've gotten quite a bit of use out of it like i like taking it on walks but this wasn't something that i was like absolutely in love with and whenever they were gonna launch the square one i was really excited because i feel like this is a lot more functional than this one because this one's just a big pouch um this one has a lot more going on in it and first of all like it's square so it's easy to get things into it but it also has like some mesh little pockets on the side on both sides which is really great it has a pocket like an extra pocket in the back and i just like love that so i already took it on a walk and it just like works so much better than the fanny pack like i love this i really like this this is great it was great for what i needed it for but i really don't think like i don't see myself ever grabbing this again now that i have this one so this is one item that i was on the fence about but it is definitely like another one of my favorite pieces that i got and i'm kind of hoping that i can save up 
for a black one because I got the chai latte color because I already had the black uh, fanny pack looking one but I like this one so much better that I also kind of wanted in black so I don't know we'll see they're not really that expensive I think they were like 36 bucks which is pretty good and it's kind of like a little bit of a lululemon dupe because I know lululemon also has a crossbody not crossbody but like a bag that's similar to this and I don't know I just love this such a great shape so glad that I picked this one up and I really hope that I can pick up a black one very very soon so that's it for buff bunny and now we are getting into the stuff I got off of Amazon. So this weekend, I'm really excited because it's going to be a really big like budgeting weekend. Me and Peter are kind of going to redo our budget a little bit. I recently got a new job. So our paycheck, like the way our paychecks are working is changing, but also like my income's changing. So we've got to make some adjustments and just kind of figure that out. But also we've been doing the cash stuffing method for about six months and have absolutely been loving it. Like, I don't know, there's something about it that is so freaking satisfying. And we have just made so much progress using that method that we absolutely love it. So now that we're kind of like more into it, I really want to redo our budget binders and kind of revamp them. I really want to have the aesthetic cash envelopes that I see all over the cash stuffing YouTube side of things. Like I love watching cash stuffing videos. They are so fun, like quickly my, one of my new favorite types of video to watch. So I really wanted to make my own. Um, originally I was going to buy some from a shop, but, and I did that, I did but they never showed up. They got lost in the mail. And I think that that was just like, I, I don't want to reorder them and then have it happen again. So I was like, you know what? I feel like in the long run, it's going to be more cost effective just to learn how to make them on my own because I have found that we are kind of growing our binders and we're kind of getting the hang of like how we're saving, but also like what we want to save for. So we're constantly, not constantly, but like now that we're kind of more into it, we are slowly adding different categories that we want to save for that like we want to like put like a little bit of money aside for every month. So this weekend I'm going to be making or like trying, attempting, learning how to make like the matte vellum cash envelopes. So I got a bunch of supplies um, and I'm really excited to do this because yeah we have quite a few envelopes that we want to make and i'll show y'all like what we're using now i'll show you the the um i'll show you the binders that like how they are now I, they totally work for what we need them for but i don't know i think that this is something that has kind of become a lifestyle for us and i just think it's like okay to have fun with it and to have it as like be aesthetically pleasing like i don't know it's just fun. So I now am the proud owner of a laminator, which I'm really excited about. I hope this one works. Um, <laughs> I have never in my life used a laminator and I just kind of wanted a cheap one because I didn't want to like spend a whole bunch of money. I think this one was like 18 bucks, which isn't that bad. So I'm kind of hoping that this works out and it works well. So laminator big thing this is another binder because we are expanding our binders this is our third binder um it's white i'll let y'all guess what it's for if you can guess let me know <laughs> um i also got a paper cutter because i don't have one this one's really nice i love the color of this so much but i wanted a nice paper cutter and it has like a ruler as well which super nice much needed and then I got the vellum for printing so this is so that I can print on it and then I got the vellum printing sleeves so I got let's see I got five mil and three mil because that's what's needed to make the envelope so I got all of this it's all like to make them I also got a corner rounder because I know that when you make them, the edges are sharp and I just kind of don't want sharp edges. 
So we are going to, I just knew that I was gonna wanna do that. So I went ahead and bought one. Let's see, <clears throat> one more thing. And then the hole puncher. So this is the hole puncher for the like the six ring binders, the A6 version, because that's what these are. Um, so right now I have no plans to upgrade my binders. The binders that I get, I will link them down below. They're like seven bucks. Um, at some point, I would love to have really nice binders, but I don't think that it's like necessary. Like I'd rather invest right now in the envelopes because. These are really nice looking. Like I, I love the way that these look. They also come in like a lot of colors. So this fits our needs. And maybe at some point I'll be able to get fancier binders. Um, Cause there are some really pretty ones out there. But I think for right now, like this does what we need it to. So yeah, I'm really excited. It's gonna be a crafty weekend. I. I'm not typically a crafty person, so we're gonna see how this goes. Um, I'm really excited and Peter is going to be helping, so he's gonna be doing it too. He's also been really excited about the, just like the cash stuffing method, like he's loving it too. It's something that we can like do together. It's like not, like it's great because finances have no longer become like this really unfun thing like whenever we budget and we get to cash stuff we just have so much fun with it and I think that's also really important to be able to have fun with those things and the more progress we make the more fun that we have with it so we are going to be doing this I've already started designing the um like the envelopes and what they're going to look like on I used pick monkey I wanted to use canva but I don't have canva pro and like I couldn't even get a line, like a line in Canva without paying for it. So I was like, I'm just gonna use PicMonkey because I that's what I use for my YouTube thumbnails. So I already had it. And so those are all ready to go. I just need to set up the printer because I do have a printer. So I'm probably gonna be messing with that tonight and making sure that everything is printing right and printing out in the, the size that I want. I need to measure everything before I start printing on the vellum because the vellum is obviously much more expensive than regular paper. I've, I've been really excited about the budgeting stuff, so that's something we're gonna do. I'm also gonna be working out this weekend. I'm gonna be reading this weekend, so I'm gonna take y'all with me on all that stuff. Tonight, though, I have no idea what we're doing. We're probably staying in, honestly. Peter was, it, this was Peter's last day before spring break, and I, I don't know, we didn't really plan anything tonight. I have dinner already, like, like cooking because I'm just cook doing a slow cooker meal and then I don't know I feel like I might just start messing around with the cash envelope stuff because tomorrow Peter's gonna go to the bank and pull out money so anyway that's my haul that's the haul for today I'm gonna take out with me tonight on whatever we decide to do I'm gonna figure out first of all where I need to put all this stuff because I want it like I don't want to create a mess so I'm gonna go set up my printer set up all the stuff that I need to in the office I feel like the hardest part of this whole entire process is going to be trying to set up this printer that I haven't used in like two years. <sighs> it is not happy. <laughs> okay, so it's much later. Ha! Joke's on me. I had to go get ink. So, got the ink. I am going to get this into the printer and hopefully get it set up and then I'm gonna do some test prints um, and then I'm gonna start organizing like all of the crafty stuff um, but yeah the printer just wasn't having it but in my printer's defense that ink is like two years old <laughs> so it just wasn't working anymore um, so I'm gonna go put this in and hopefully I can finish send the printer but yeah 
it's been a whole ordeal. Okay. Fridge's working. <laughs> Finally. Thank goodness. I was I was worried that that wasn't going to work out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test print of one of the sheets. I'll go ahead and show y'all kind of what I've got set up. So this is what I've set up so far. So I'm doing three per page. Um, I got the measurements for the cash envelopes from a tutorial. I'll link the tutorial down below just in case y'all want to try it out. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So I've got all of my um, pages made. So this is going to be great. And then I'm super excited. And then I also did some placeholders and I'm trying to figure out like what style I like. I'm leaning towards the one with the cursive because I think that looks really cute, but I haven't quite decided yet. I think, I think I'm going to print them out on just like a white piece of paper and see which one I like the best. So yeah, I'm going to get organized. I am going to get all of the, this stuff unpacked and I think I'm going to like, I'm just not organized. I really need to organize this whole area and then I'm going to print and that will be it for tonight. It's already like 8 17 and we're going to be going to the gym in the morning. So I probably have to get to bed soon. So I'm not going to be able to do much for this tonight, but I at least want to do some test prints and just kind of like see how it's going to go. <laughs> Make sure I don't have to like go get a whole ass new printer, but yeah, let's get this cleaned up. printed out and I think that the like the ones for the cash envelopes look really good like they're just oh let me just get that they're just plain okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and compare the size to like the cash envelopes that we are currently using so just in case you are wondering this is we're using like the zippered ones which I think the zippered ones are great like especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to invest a lot of money in those do the trick. We're back from the gym and the bank. Got a couple of fun stuff. So we're gonna try out these little like salami and provolone snacks. Those would be good. We stocked up on Rice Krispie treats. We really like to have those after a workout or when we're just wanting a sweet treat. <laughs> and then we got a bunch of butter cause we go through it so fast. We got salmon. I love this salmon, it's super easy to cook. And then we got this for tonight. We're doing like a little date night, movie night, and we saw these, so I'm gonna give these a try. And then we have our cash stuffing money, so we can do that today. And now we are going to eat some bagels. Bagels.
I wanted to give you all an update. I just finished like my first set of placeholders. I decided to start with the placeholders because there's they're a little easier to do and I wanted to kind of like see how the laminator worked and just kind of like I feel like these are just like an easier place to start. Um just because they're just you just they're just easier. Um so I really like the way that they came out. I think they're really cute. Um I feel like I feel like they look good. I do kind of wish that I would have done the like number 1000 a little bit darker, but that, that can be something that I do like next time. But so far, like I really like them. I think that they're great. They are the same size pretty much as a dollar. So got the sizing right, so yeah really happy with how these came out so i'm gonna go ahead and finish doing placeholders and then i will move on to the cash envelopes so i think i have enough 1000 ones um i do have i don't know i do have some more printed out so i'll probably just make two more and then i know that i want to do um maybe like one two thousand and a couple fully funded ones so yeah but so far i like how they came out like the not not bad later this here let me um <laughs> this has taken me i don't even know about i yeah i guess like i i thought it was gonna be an all-day thing and it really did can't turn out to be an all-day thing so it's 5 30 now um what took me so long was i i was doing the envelopes wrong because you have to like align the sheets in a certain way and I did it wrong finally on the third time I got it right so these were the first ones that I made and I love the way that they came out um so these were kind of like the testers but this was the third try um so that is done now and I have done the vellum or I've finished the laminating on all of the categories that I want like this is ridiculous this is a crazy stack um so I'm done with the laminating finally which honestly was the most tedious process um getting the, the freaking um envelopes like aligned on the laminating sheet was such a pain because they would move and on it was the most frustrating part um but now I just need to cut these down I need to hole punch them and then I need to round the corners so I did get a quarter quarter corner rounder um just because these do produce like pretty sharp um edges so i wanted to round them i already rounded the placeholders so these are all like rounded edges and i absolutely love how these came out um i definitely like the darker the darker text um i did the thousand a little bit differently and then i realized eh, i'm not crazy about that so i darkened it up um but i'm not gonna like redo the the thousand dollar ones just because i feel like there's no there's no reason to but i definitely like the two thousand dollar one and then the fully funded one so much i have so many thousands i didn't need that many thousands but i was testing everything out and that's just kind of what i ended up coming up with um so i'm gonna cut these down I think Peter is hopefully going to help me with this process and then I need to put the binders together. So I thought I would show you all really quick what our binders look like um, or at least one of them. So 
currently we have two we have like a daily spending type binder where we pull out of it a lot so it has a lot of our just kind of like daily spending categories um this is kind of what they look like so we do have the zipper ones and i just wrote <laughs> in sharpie the categories um but those are what we have been using for the past six months and it's been great i love them but um i'm not a fan of like the zipper because it's pretty bulky um so this is our first binder the other one is in the safe um and i'm not gonna go get it right now but it's pretty much the same it's just like a different color i think it's green um and we use like the same envelopes and it's kind of like the same setup but really excited to, to revamp these and then of course we're adding the new binder and this is going to be for the wedding so i'm really excited to finish these up and then put everything in here i still need to cash stuff everything that we got today so there's just like a little bit more to do but i really don't think the cutting part is going to take very long i think that that's going to kind of speed by especially if peter is helping me with like the whole punching and the corner rounding i think we'll get it done pretty quick so we're gonna finish this up and then we're gonna go have kind of like a little date movie night so i want to get this done um and out of the way so that i don't have to worry about it tomorrow because tomorrow all i want to do is relax and breathe like that is my main goal i just want to get this out of the way but i'm really glad that i decided to just kind of learn how to do this on my own um because i love the way that these look and i just like didn't want to pay a crazy amount of money like yes the supplies up front was pricey but like the amount of envelopes i can make with all the supplies far exceeds the like the the like what i would get if i were to pay someone to make these envelopes so works out anyway i'm gonna finish this and then go relax the rest of the night and watch a movie and just kind of spend time with peter and then tomorrow again big reading day hopefully a youtube day and all of that fun stuff so let's let's finalize these and then i will come back and i will show you like how i'm organizing the binders and what they look like and that'll be it for the budgeting if y'all would like to see like budgeting content for me let me know because i would love to do that i just like don't feel like i don't know if there's like a place for it on my channel because like yes i like ch kind of rebranded my channel but for the most part i'm trying to stay within like the book sphere because that's what i enjoy but also like i've been really loving the budgeting stuff so i might add it to my channel i don't know let me know if y'all would be interested in seeing that because i don't know i would love to do that it looks so fun like the cash stuffing videos and all of that fun stuff looks so much like so much fun but yeah, I'm gonna get this done. So the binders are done now i just need to transfer the money over and then i need to do like our cash stuffing for the weekend but they look so good like i love the way they came out i do think that we're gonna need another binder because our sinking funds which is this green one it's super full it has a lot of categories and i think that we could probably like split things up um there's like like there's a, there's a lot in here like so we'll see how it how it goes with like um when things are getting stuffed but i wanted to show y'all because i have one for the eras tour 
I wish I would have done the logo a little bit darker, but I think it came out cute because me and my sister are going in October, so, but and that's my book one. So yeah, just like, I love the way that it came out. I think it looks so good. Um, so, but yeah, might need to expand the sinking funds one. And then the wedding one came together really nice as well. So, um, we've just got all our categories in here that we want to save for so that we can start stuffing for this. So really excited to do this one. Um, we do have a little bit set aside already in our sinking funds already. So, but I wanted a entire binder dedicated to it because there's just so much. So many expenses. Peter did a great job with the whole punching and helping out. So thank you. Okay, so it is Sunday and we got such a late start today. Um, we did not know it was daylight saving time. Didn't know that was happening. So we lost an hour today. Um, I'm dying. Peter, Peter's dying. I'm dying. We got a really late start to the day. We went to the gym late, just like, Today was just like a dead day, but we are about to go run out and do some errands. So a couple things we have to do. We have to find a gift for my brother because his birthday is this week. We need to find Bryce a new collar because hers is kind of snug on her now. So I want to get her something a little bit bigger. I just think her neck is like, I don't even know, getting bigger or fluffier. I don't even know what it is, but her, Color doesn't fit her very well anymore. So I wanna get her a new one. We're also looking to get in to get new retractable leashes for the dogs and upgrade those at some point. So we're just gonna go see how expensive all that stuff is. <laughs> um, and then we might go to Barnes and Noble, probably make a Target trip. So a couple of things that we need to go out and do. Um, so I have <clears throat> our envelopes that I'm taking. So at some point, I'm really hoping to get one of those wallets that has the binder, but it's like a zip up um, so that everything's kind of contained. I want to get that at some point, but the one that I want is out of stock. So I'm waiting for the shop to do a restock. But for now, I just kind of like moved the envelopes in here that we needed and I'm just gonna take one binder. So I have all the cash that we need for things. So. For like household i know we need some like soap for the bathrooms peter needs some deodorant so i have my toiletries one just like things like that so we're gonna go do all of these errands and i don't know i'm excited to take the new envelopes with us but i'm gonna take you along with us because that's pretty much all that we're gonna be doing today and then i'm hoping to get some reading done this afternoon or this evening i guess but yeah today was supposed to be a big reading day and it just like didn't happen but that's okay y'all are gonna get this vlog for this coming week so i also need to edit this vlog and get it ready to go for thursday so whew, just a lot of things to do I thought I would quickly show y'all what we got. Um, 
I think for the most part we got everything that we went out for. The only thing we didn't get was a collar for Bryce. I didn't find one that I liked more than the one on Amazon. So at Target, I got some stuff for my brother's gift. I got him some Sour Punch straws, tissue paper, and just a little bag so I can wrap it. And then we also got the stuff that we needed. So we got hand soap. I decided to try out this um, dry shampoo from Monday. This is like the brand that we get our like shampoo and conditioner from. Peter needed some smoothing cream. So we got that and then deodorant. So that was the Target haul. Great. Um, one of, one thing for my brother's gift, I got him some socks. He's so hard to shop for. I feel like guys are so hard to shop for and I never know what to get my brother. Um, he is a gamer, he likes playing games. So I just got him these socks. <laughs> uh, they were cute. I found them at this random little store in the mall that we weren't even planning on like going to. We were gonna go, we actually went to box lunch and they didn't have anything there. And also their AC wasn't working so we got out of there real quick and this was right next door. But, oh these were cute. So I got them that. And then we went to this place called Heroes and Fantasies and it's like a crazy big like, they have like everything nerdy there. They have like Star Wars stuff, Marvel, like anything in that realm, any kind of gaming stuff they have. He plays Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons. So I didn't really know what to get him, but I found this just like little card game. It's called Dungeon Mayhem. I don't think it's like four playing Dungeons and Dragons. I think it's just like a little like Dungeons and Dragons themed game. So I thought this would be cute. Just like a couple like cute things to get him. Um, and then we went to Pet Supplies Plus. While I didn't find a collar, they did have leashes that were on sale, which I'm really excited. So we were able to replace all of the dog leashes, which I'm really excited about because they were on their last leg they needed to be replaced so we got the dogs each a new one so june got a red one she got a smaller one because she's a smaller dog and then <clears throat> i got larges for reese and bryce um so these are really nice glad we were able to find some and these were like 20 bucks each which is pretty cheap for retractable leashes so Ah, it was nice like going out and having money for stuff. Um, we loved like just this whole setup um, and having, I don't know, just money in different categories. It was really nice. And then I also got a cookie cake or a sliced cookie cake, which I'm gonna eat tonight. So that is it for the haul. We're gonna go walk the dogs, test out the new leashes and and I think we're gonna chill for the rest of the night. I really need to pick up a book. Um, I don't know what I wanna pick up though. I'm currently reading The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue, but I think I need to pick up like a romance just to kind of like, I don't even know, get back into it. Like I was really liking this, The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue. I think it's a beautifully written book, but I think I want something that doesn't involve like my brain, that I can just like shut my brain off and just like enjoy the story. And The Invisible Life of Abby LaRue is like, it's one of those stories that I really want to pay attention to and I'm not in the mood to pay attention to a book. So I think I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to pick up something else for the rest of the night. But that's all that's going to be happening. So I will update at the end of the night on what I choose to read and how much I get done. But yeah, it's 630. It's time to wind down and relax. And then that'll kind of be it for this vlog. So. <laughs> settling in for the night i've got my pjs on cozy comfy and i'm going to sit down i did pick out the book that i'm going to read so i am going to read just haven't met you yet by sophie cousins um this is one that i had pulled aside 
for reading in March and the main reason why I pulled this one is because somehow I have two copies of this book um so I never do this with books like this is like I'm pretty good about like knowing what's on my shelves but for some reason with this book I bought it twice didn't know it didn't know until I was like really looking through my shelves when I was doing my March reset and I noticed that I had two they were literally like six or seven books part two they were literally on the same shelf um so I think it's so funny but I'm gonna go ahead and start this one I think I just need again I just need something that is a little bit more chill so I'm gonna try getting into this one tonight and it's short which I like so this is gonna be how I'm gonna kind of wrap up my night it is already not already it's like 7 40 ish so I really only have like maybe like an hour and a half to do some reading so I'm gonna see how much I can get into this one and then that's pretty much gonna be it for this vlog but I <laughs> 